Hey everyone, this is Shane Toporowski from ProSharp. We just uh, wanted to do a quick webinar video, live video for you for all the potential and current customers of the uh, ProSharp home machine. We've been uh, dealing with a few calls, feeling a few calls with uh, how to calibrate the machine after, after it's been traveling. So um, we're here in our office in uh, Worcester, Massachusetts to uh, give you a little instruction on how to uh, make sure you can ensure perfectly level edges uh, that you would expect from our ProSharp home machine. Um, I'm here with my colleague, uh, Ryan Palmer, and I'm just gonna switch the video around so he can take you through the steps on how to calibrate the ProSharp home. In terms of calibration, uh, we typically recommend not, probably not using your player skates. Uh, it's always good to have an old set of blades or, or some type of steel that you can use instead of your player skates. Uh, because we will be stopping starting on certain spots of the blade, which will create little uh, divots in terms of that blade profile. Not a huge deal if you do use the regular player blades, just make sure you sharpen uh, enough cycles afterwards to smooth it out. Uh, but here we go, I guess we're going to begin. So, first things first is to make sure the machine's powered on uh, and plugged in. We can use a skate blade or, or the skate boot with the blade in it, doesn't really matter. Uh, what we're going to do here is sharpen enough cycles to make sure the hollow has been put in. Whether it's sharpening it uh, uh, perfectly parallel in terms of levelness, uh, we'll find out here shortly. So I'm going to press uh, four cycles uh, to make sure that the hollow has been put in properly. So now we're going to get to hurry up and wait against at this point. Uh, obviously you can manually control the left and right movements as well to speed up this process. Uh, so as the skate sharpening here, uh, customers, that uh, just just make sure that this doesn't have to be done every time you you uh, sharpen your skates. This is this once in a while check. I, I prefer to do it weekly. And if you've been traveling with it, you go to a hotel. It's a very portable machine. So if you uh, end up in a hotel, just make sure you do your calibration test before you sharpen your uh, son's or player's skates or daughter's skates before they uh, step on the ice to ensure the perfectly good edges uh, you expect from the Pro Sharp home machine. We do have documentation too uh, of this actual test. We can send anybody that's looking for it. So just reach out to either Shane or Ryan or Joey or John up in Canada. is just color the, the bottom of the skate blade. This step doesn't have to be done, but today, for, in terms of visual, it's, uh, it's always helpful to see a uh, good clear line that you're looking at. So the skate was being sharpened this way. Now I'm gonna flip the skate blade around. I'm gonna secure it in place. And now I'm only gonna run a half pass here. So I'm gonna press the sharpening button once. When it gets somewhere near the clamp still, you press the sharpening button again to return it back home, and then we'll check. Typically when you're hearing different noises on the half cycle here, you can hear uh, kind of changing the sound a little bit. It doesn't sound nice and smooth. Typically it represents that wheel is not perfectly aligned yet. But we'll find out. So this one's not even touching both sides of the blade, which is pretty severe in terms of being off. Uh, my gut feels is probably four to five clicks. Uh, in, in terms of being off to get that uh, correctly. So what's happening is the grinding wheel is grinding too far on this side of the blade. If everybody can see me here. I need to get the grinding wheel to grind more on this side. So the actual grinding wheel needs to come out of the machine. Uh, so Shane, you wanna, I'll actually power it on and, and stop it in the better spot here. So if you look at the machine, uh, our little uh, lateral adjustment knob is right here. Uh, it makes a little click every time you move it. 
Uh, essentially, so what we said was the, the grinding wheel needs to come out further towards me to cover some of this side of the blade. So what I'll do is I'm gonna turn this counterclockwise, which moves the wheel out. If I turn this knob uh, clockwise, it moves the wheel in the machine, uh, if, if that makes sense to you guys. So I'll make my adjustment now. Let's see. I changed the spot five different times there, just uh, by, obviously as the more times you do it, the more times you get comfortable in terms of how far you have to move that. But typically, if it's not touching either side, it's pretty severe, where it's gonna require a lot of passes uh, to get that back in the spot here. Um, so what I did is turn off the machine after it stopped, turn it back on, it moved a little bit, press the sharpening button again to return it all the way back home. And I'm gonna run the same test again. Skate goes in like normal. Uh, I'm doing three cycles here to help put in that hole, whether it's centered or not, we'll find out here shortly. This would be a great test for people that just purchased Pro Sharp Home uh, in terms of after it's been delivered to you. This would be a good first step to start with to make sure the wheel is properly aligned. So just as the machine's running, just for you who may be watching and don't know much about our machine, our machine currently sells for $13.99, weighs 19 pounds. Uh, each wheel will sharpen uh, 500 pairs of skates before the wheel's worn out. We have all different radius of hollows available. Uh, we also has a, have a coarse grit wheel to, uh, to sharpen all the skates that might come in from the pond that have a little bit deeper nicks in them, a little bit more damage to the blades. And uh, the, uh, the machine also comes with a three year warranty and a travel bag, all for $13.99. So very uh, economical machine uh, to run after your initial purchase. My three cycles are done. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the beginning and color the blade for you so you can visually see where that wheel is hitting. Uh, hopefully I picked the right number of moves to see if it's perfectly centered or not. So there visually you see that it's touching both sides there. Uh, it appears to have a slight angle to it. Uh, so potentially I might need to move it one more click to get it perfectly straight across. Uh, I could always use my blade angle tester to, to put it on and check to make sure it is uh, producing level results. Uh, but in terms of feel skating wise, if you're getting that result there, it, it's probably skatable in terms of not feeling it. Uh, but you could make one more click uh, out of the machine if you wanted to to see how it performs. Uh, but with all the today's video, I'm going to leave it with that. That way we're not wasting time for everybody that's watching. So that's a quick video on how to uh, calibrate the ProSharp Home uh, Skate Sharpening Machine. I hope, uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to... Uh, to myself, Ryan, Joey, or John up in Canada. All our numbers are on uh, prosharp.com on our website. Uh, click your destination, either US or Canada, and you can find our information there. Uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, we're heading up north to the boys, up north in Canada with uh, Joey and John next week for a webinar. Thanks a lot.